Now, one of the limitations of ChatGPT that gets on everyone's nerves is the fact that it only takes in a certain amount of characters. And in fact, uh, ChatGPT at the moment with the ChatGPT version 4 um, will only take in 8,000 characters. So not an awful lot if you want to paste in quite a significant amount of text and then start using that text to ask questions, summarize and do all of those useful things that we can do with ChatGPT. But I found a place uh, called, and I'll just scroll down here a little bit so you can see it. There you go, nat.dev. And basically, it has every model under the sun, uh, la large language models, that is. Um, but one that it really does have that is incredible is this. If we just zoom in a little bit over here, look at this, GPT-4 32K. So that is one of the models that it has in here, which will give us a whole load, we need four times the characters that a normal tokens, should we say, four times the tokens that normal GPT-4 will give us. And um, all you need to do is just use this. You can, you have to submit like $5. You can see I've done it already at the top there. Just $5 to try it out. And then if you want to top it up, you can do. You just literally click buy $5 in credits. Now, the to, to find out more about the person who's developed this, you can just go to the Discord, which is just here. And I can see there's like one and a half thousand people online at the moment, 23,000 members. So this is not some new uh, new development that, uh, you know, is, is run by some scammer or something. And then here you go. You've got it also on GitHub as well. But, you know, I wouldn't necessarily go and put in any super personal information in here because we don't know everything about it. But at least it gives you a chance to play about and use GPT-4 32K. Now, you can't get that in OpenAI's playground. And um, some people are lucky if they've even got four in there and uh, on the 16K version. So this is a great opportunity to play about with it. Then also, the other thing I like about this nat.dev is that you can compare models. And this has got just about every model that you've ever seen in your life. So if we wanted to, we can literally go, oh look, there's a Claude. If you haven't heard of Claude, it's made by Anthropic, like a competing company to OpenAI uh, with another large language model. They've got a few different versions, including this one, which is, if I just tick the box, there it is. That is the 100K version. So that is 100,000 tokens that you can use. You can plant in there like a whole book virtually. And then if we scroll down just along here, you'll see we've got all these other different versions. One from Cohere, ones I haven't even heard of, to be quite honest with you. Um, hugging face models, uh, Google there as well. We all know about hugging face if you're into this space. Then we've got GPTs. So we've got the GPT 3.5 Turbo by OpenAI 4, and then all these other versions of 4, including the 32K as well. So if you wanted to, you can test the two of them together, and then you can just put your prompt in here, and we can see how good they are at actually doing what you want. So let's just try something real quick. Can you write me a 1,000 word article about the benefits of using AI to in small businesses and do it in a friendly journalistic style. All right, then we just click submit and we watch the magic happen. And look at this, they're off. And you can see at the rate that they actually are producing the content, which is really easy as well. Uh, you can see what like a little timer down here and how long it takes. Look at all these characters coming, coming into it here. Absolutely loads. So this is really, really useful to test out the different models against each other. There is even up the top here uh, in metrics, we can see if we just, here we go. You can see over this number of time here, you can see the speed at which these different models are performing. The completion response time um, by day and date. You can pick different models here like this if you want to, to compare them together which is really, really interesting. So we can see at the moment that, uh, for example, GPT-4, the completion time is 47 seconds compared to Claude's 14. And then the standard re response time is, is quite slow. And the number of uh, tokens that it's going through per second is relatively slow. But to be fair, 
it does do a great job, GPT-4, probably the best one of the lot anyway. And by the way, if you're into uh, any of these large language models and chat GPT, you should really check out my free group, which is just here. Um, we've got uh, getting on for 6,000 members now, and you can join for free. Just literally uh, just go to members and then just join up with your email address and name. And then you can jump in and interact with all these people from around the world who are obsessed with AI and chat GPT. They try and out all of the different language models. We're talking about um, AI detection, all kinds of interesting stuff. So there's a link underneath this video if you want to learn more about that and come and join in. But yeah, getting back to this. So it's really, really interesting to compare the different models. And you can see we've got OpenAI, Anthropic, Forefront and Aleph Alpha. So a lot of different models. We've also got the ability to just use uh, use it like we would chat GPT, but with any of these models as well. So at the moment, we're using Claude Instant. We can scroll down and try something else like that 32K just there. Uh, let's try it in here as well. Write me a 500 word article all about electric vehicles and the benefits of using them. There we go. Let's see how it works. Boom, there it does. The remarkable benefits of electric vehicles. And it's off and very quick and efficient, as you can see. Now, we could, of course, extend that massively because of the ability to have 32,000 tokens. And this is going to be really useful for people who want to kind of summarize large articles and things or, you know, huge website content or PDFs or something. You want to just copy and paste straight into here. At least you're going to be able to do it. You can actually rate it and everything there as well and then copy just like you can in, in chat GPT too. So that's really good. Now, zooming out, if we go back to our comparison, yeah, it does wipe it. So be, be prepared to uh, uh, note that if you move from this page to another and come back, it has wiped everything we've asked it to do. But we can just submit it again because why not? We're just making AIs work via an API and not real humans. Now, one thing I did notice is that uh, Claude Instant, the V100K, just seems to have stopped just there, seems to have paused, whereas uh, OpenAI's GPT-4 has gone through and even that just seems to have paused as well. So I don't know what would happen if I just press continue because that's what we do in chat GPT. Let's see what happens there. Okay, no. So, nope, neither of them have continued. And what they've done is just basically um, just responded to this request just here. So, I'm not quite sure why that didn't go through. Maybe there's a limit on here. Some of these settings. Oh, there we go. Look at this. Parameters, maximum length. So, we probably want to crank this up just up here. Um, if we want to uh, be able to use more tokens and generate longer content. If you want to know what any of these filters do down on the right hand side, just hold your mouse over them and then it explains them over there. There you go. Can be used to reduce repetitiveness, for, for example. Repetitiveness is sometimes where it keeps saying the same thing within that particular bit of content. And then you can go through and just hold your mouse over and learn. And don't forget, you've got all of these different ones that you can compare. You can even compare three or even four of them together. Look at this. So you can have them all in the same window even. A very, very useful system. And for $5 to have a little play around, you can see that everything I've just done has cost me like, what, 24 cents? So it's not exactly uh, horrendous just to experiment with. I wouldn't say you would really want to be using this system for your main daily driver. For that, it's got to be, you know, really chat GPT at the moment, probably the plus version um, or the playground because you do have the 16K uh, facility in there, the 16,000 tokens with GPT-4, hopefully, if you've got that in your account. And um, yeah, it's just a little bit of a fun toy to have a little play around with to test these large language models. But thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe. And there will be another video in just a second. So hold fire.